Hey guys, what's up? The Thunder Mario here, and today, I know the Q&A came out this Wednesday, which I, I know this is today is supposed to be a plush video day, but I decided that I'm going to do something different. Rather than doing a plush video, I know this is supposed to go for miscellaneous uh, for next Wednesday, but I decided this is kind of considered a plush video, and many people want to know, well, I guess a little bit of behind the scenes of what goes on during a video, what happens during a video, and, you know, the like effects of it so i'm gonna show you guys like pretty much a lot behind the scenes i'm gonna try and show you all the as much as in explanation as i can for what goes on behind the scenes and like, what goes on during the processing of making a video and what goes on in the publishing of making a video so yeah I, i'll i guess i'll show you guys all the steps so step one Alright guys, so I know you guys want to know, how do we get the ideas of every single video? Well, basically, it comes from our imagination, I guess you could say. So, basically, in order to write a script, we had to go think through the idea several times, several, several times. Like, I'd say about 20 times before we even get started on production. Then we have to, pretty much, we have this notepad. Hold on, let me show you guys, just a second. Oh. In here, we have notepad, and basically, what this does is that... If we wanted to add any additional ideas, say for example, um, a crocodile, a crocodile, I guess you could say, eat someone. I'm writing this with one hand, and yeah, like say for example, if I wanted to write that, so, uh, eat someone. yeah, okay, whatever, that doesn't matter, but anyways, say for example, I wanted to add that in a video, so I can add that in a video, and pretty much I can try and add it as an additional feature. So this is what we do for video ideas. Basically, we go on Notepad and then pretty much think of ideas. And if we wanted to add additional ideas that we probably never got around to in the first place, then we can always have this list for the video, a certain video. Now, step two. Step two is basically getting all the characters ready. So basically, we have now moved out a little bit of storage and all that. So basically, where do we keep all the characters? Well. We keep all the characters in here. Yep, um, it is from smallest, tallest, I guess you could say. So there are some more characters out of there. Uh, yeah, I'll give them a good view in a bit. Uh, so yeah, these are like the main characters, I guess you could say. Um, here are some more secondary characters. Hold on. So yeah, here are some more characters. Here are the figures. Basically, this is where we keep all characters in case where do we need them. Um, yeah, this is where we keep all of our characters now. And, yeah, and we get out the characters and we get filming. So, I'd say about every scene takes, well, it honestly depends on the video. If it's like a 20 minute video, it takes about an hour to get it done. If it's like a little short video, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to get it done. So, it does take a while to get uh, each certain video done. So, yeah, now step six. Three, I guess. Step three is the location. Basically, around 80, 80 to 75 percent of the times the the video takes place. So, how does your filming schedule work? Well, if we look closely at the time, right now it is 2:53. So, at around 2:30 to 3 o'clock, this is when we start about to film. Now, there are many locations for every single video. For example, this is the this is the bedroom, which, yeah. Over here is the bathroom, which, I don't know. I don't know which video takes place in the bathroom, but there are some videos that take place in the bathroom. And a mirror. Hello. Anyways, um, yeah, there are some places. And the one most every video should probably take place is outside. Yes, most of the times each video takes place outside, so, yeah, I mean... You'll see some different locations. There will be times where sometimes a video will take place outside. There will be times where some video will take in the garage, you know, etc. So, step four. Alright then, so, now the video editing. Where does all the video editing takes place? Well, it takes place on all on this computer. This, well, laptop, I guess you could say, but... Yeah, it, we edit with this video non-stop, every single day, about 24-7, I guess, with something of an update on the computer, but anyways, that doesn't matter too much. Um, yeah, this is where we edit all of our videos. The editing software we use is Corel Video Studio Pro X5. Well, it's supposed to be X5. It is also known as 
Well, it is Ultimate X5, but I don't really go too much. Um, yeah, this is where, this is how we organize our videos. Yep, stuff like that. Um, we basically organize them through completed videos. This is how we organize them to completed videos, to music, and, well, to pictures, and clips, and videos, and, you know, stuff like that. Except, yeah, like that. Like, for example, like, there's many things involved with this video editing sort of thing. So now, we, once we get done filming all the videos and all that stuff, we go to here, we pretty much, we pretty much right click, and then we insert video. This is where we insert all the videos. So, I'll go pull up a video right now, just to demonstrate, just to show you guys how much of an editing process it is. Alright guys, so here's a sneak peek of next week's episode, which actually, I'll show you guys a, a good bit of the scene. Yeah, so this is a little bit of scene, we pull it up. We pull it up on here, you know, stuff like that, and yeah, stuff like that, pretty much, that's what happens on, while we edit, so we basically go through every single scene, which actually takes a very long while, so this will be actually next week's video, so yeah, pretty much, yeah, this is what happens every single week, well, every single video actually, and this is only for plush videos, not gaming videos. Gaming videos will be a separate video, which will be uploaded on a miscellaneous day, but not this day, not this miscellaneous day. So this is what happens during the behind the scenes of every single video. It can go from beginning to end, you know, stuff like that. It can go from a lot of things. Then once about, I'd say about two to three days go by, we have the video complete. Basically, it is complete, and well, yeah, there's really nothing we can really add except for rendering so yeah th basically this is how we render we basically go on to create video file if it's about 15 minutes long either that or we go to upload a web and we press on YouTube not Vimeo not YouTube 3d although I don't know what that does no or Facebook no or Flickr so yeah let me show you how the rendering process works guys so here we are on our computer right now about to render this video so it is video 26 and we click save and we let the we let the computer do the job so this is how it renders it basically renders from a percentage not a time so here we have rendering zero percent and it takes about I'd say about for 15 to 20 minutes it takes about two or an hour to two hours of rendering for a four to three to four minute video it would take about I'd say about 10 to 15 minutes for about a 10 to, or like around 10 minute video it I'd have to say it'd take about I'd say for the most part about 45 minutes to an hour so that's how long it would take for one video like one second video so yeah this is how long it would take and yeah we basically get through all the special effects and yeah there's many things involved now the special effects how do we do them well well, I don't know how many steps we are into it, but yeah, let's just show you guys how we do the special effects for now. Alright guys, so here we are back now, and yeah, so this is how we do special effects. Now you guys don't be wondering, what is the special effects going by? Well, this is actually used by Chroma Key. Basically, well, we do use the cheap way of using special effects, and that is by using Chroma Key. And well, yeah, we don't have After Effects, we don't use that yet, but I mean, we do plan on using that sometime very soon, but anyways. This is how we do special effects. We rewatch it about, I'd say, about 20 to 30 times just to get the perfect special effect. If it doesn't work out, then yeah, we basically just keep trying it over and over again until we get a good special effect. This is actually by a process of a long time, so I had to rewatch a freaking special effect about 20 to 30 times, and that takes about almost about 10 minutes. Get the scene done. So a video with an, an episode with the special effect, it takes a while to get done. So yeah, I mean, it, there can be some very complicated stuff where like there just has to be like a fade and then something like that, very complicated. I don't know, like, because we don't actually afford After Effects, and well, yeah, if this would have been much more easier. But considering we don't have After Effects, we have to do it a much more harder way, which is actually having to cut scenes, you know, diagonal, whatever. You know what? Yeah. yeah. So, music. Now, what do we do for music? Well, let's go back on here. Music, we have over a title of load of music. I mean, loads. I don't know why there's a clip in there, but who cares? So, yeah, we have loads of music around here. So, 
Yeah, this is actually our music library, and and just because it's a behind the scenes, I will sh share with you guys one music, one music that's on this list. Hold on, I'll, this is actually I'm gonna share this one with you guys. So yeah, that, that's a little bit, sorry guys. Anyways, so yeah, that, that music is called Double Agent. So yeah, I'll share that name with you guys. So yeah, that's one music we've used so far. So yeah, let's get on with, I guess, what the final step. The final step for every video is, well, uploading it. Yeah, that's pretty much the final step. We just click on public, to unlisted, to private, to schedule. Most of the times it will be scheduled, but considering if it's like an intro video, it will have to be private, and then we will have to pretty much do it again, which on YouTube Video Editor. So it's not too complicated. The video editing is not too complicated, but if it were to be any more complicated, then yeah, there would be, be an updated, updated version of that. I can't now speak correctly, whatever. That doesn't matter. So that is basically the behind the, behind the scenes of every single video. So, yeah, if you have any more questions, then you can contact me somehow, but anyways, yeah, that is a behind the scenes, so, yeah, right, that's about it, and I'll see you guys in the next video, so, yeah, if you guys have any more questions, then you can contact me, and, alright, bye guys!